I'm Joel Rennick, the creator of Nomad, and I wanted to give you a quick tour of uh, our latest creation. Uh, this is Nomad with PK in it. We wanted to take all of the great Kerberos and authentication parts of Nomad and incorporate them with smart cards. Uh, we've had a couple of accounts that uh, are in more secure environments and are using smart cards and wanted to have a very friendly and effective way for users to get tickets, whether they were bound to AD or not. Um, so, Nomad with PK in it. Uh, if we launch the app, first thing you'll notice that's a little bit different from earlier versions of Nomad, we now have a welcome screen, let the user know what's going on and why these triangle icons might be up in their menu bar. Um, also, it gives you the version number, the build, uh, and something new for Nomad with PK in it. In the original version of Nomad, you would set an Active Directory domain and then you had to authenticate as a user in that domain. Uh, we wanted to create a little bit of a different workflow with Nomad with PK and Knit, since a lot of the accounts using smart cards might have multiple Kerberos domains, uh, perhaps an Active Directory domain, uh, and then an MIT or a Heimdall Kerberos realm as well, but they wanted to have tickets in both of them. So now instead of just having one domain that you're authenticating against, you can have multiple Kerberos realms. Uh, as long as the DNS records are good, we're happy to chase them down and get tickets for you. So to set that up, we've got an accounts pane now. So we'll go here now. And this is where you can set up a variety of different principles that you may be using. Just add them in here. And they're gonna show up in a pull down menu for the user uh, when they wanna authenticate. So we might have one for an entirely different realm here. All right. And then if I insert a smart card here, you can see that this now shows up and I've got a little pull down. If there are multiple identities on this card, you can see those. If you hit this disclosure triangle, you can now see all the OIDs on that particular certificate. So you can make sure that this is exactly the one that you're looking for. So now I'm going to configure this with a principal and add this in. All right, I'm gonna close out of this accounts menu, close out of the welcome screen. Now I've got the triangle up here in the menu bar. Uh, if I go here and I look at this, a uh, couple of new things that are different to uh, Nomad with PK in it. Um, we'll actually find out if you have a local password policy. In this particular case, the admin user has to change their password in the next three days. Uh, we know that a lot of more secure environments that have local users use a local password policy, and sometimes it's hard to figure out how much time you have remaining on that password. If you click this menu, uh, it'll open up the system preferences, and the user can now change their password right here in the standard users and groups section. All right. Also, if we cruise down here, you've got uh, sign in, which we're showing a little bit. Lock screen, just a handy little area to make sure the screen locks. If you're running a high Sierra system, this won't be shown since Apple has provided a, a way in the menu bar to lock the screen itself. Um, similar to Nomad, we've got the Git software and the Git help functions. These will allow you to open up a self-service application, uh, perhaps a screen sharing connection, file a ticket, and just generally interact better with IT. Uh, we've got the about window, which you've seen already. So this pops this back up so users can see what's going on there and just get a little more information about the app if they want to. The accounts window, which we've already shown. Uh, we have a new preferences window. So this is new to this Nomad with PK Knit. Uh, in here, we've got a couple of settings that are kind of specific to smart cards. Uh, for example, we had a couple of accounts that came to us and said that they wanted their users to be warned if they had not removed their smart card. Um, in these cases, they use the smart card also for building uh, physical access. And so they wanted to make sure that the users wouldn't forget that at their desk when they left to go to another meeting or left their office and then would have to be escorted back in. So in this particular case, if a card is left in more than two minutes and this is configurable, um, the user will get a warning up here in the notification center uh, that their card needs to be removed. Uh, right now with these settings, I've forced these through a configuration profile. So that's why they've been grayed out here. Uh, if uh, this is a nice visual reminder to the user that these have been set, uh, but they can't actually change them. Uh, automatically renew tickets, pretty standard Kerberos, uh, just K init uh, dash R effectively. Uh, also new to Nomad with PK init is the ability to configure how often it will kind of recheck everything. Uh, in this case, it's set to 15 minutes, but you can scale this up or down if you want to be a little more 
uh, aware of what's going on. If you're doing a lot of Kerberos work, you might want this to update itself. And that's just to make sure that it knows about the tickets and everything else. Um, there's also a default Kerberos realm. Uh, so if you don't want to type in the full realm all the time for all the accounts, uh, we will add this on to any principal that doesn't have a realm associated with it. So with that, let's go and sign in. Just pull down here to the sign in window. Nomad knows I have a card in, so it automatically takes me to a pin prompt. Put in my pin. And now I've got a ticket. So the triangle in the menu bar now has switched from a, you know, it's gone to a green check mark. If I pull down, I can see here's my user principal and here's where my ticket is going to expire. Uh, also new is an Elevate Privileges. This is works in conjunction with Nomad Helper, which we've got another video on that you should check out. It's linked down below. Um, if I were to go in and sign in again, this is another function of uh, Nomad with PKN Knit. First of all, if I've got a ticket for a principal, it doesn't show that ticket in the pull down menu, just to keep things easy for users. So I can pick this one, type in my username and or type in my password, don't need the username. And now I've just gone out and gotten a second ticket for myself. Uh, at which point you have a new menu item here. And this allows you to switch between what your active Kerberos uh, credential is. So in this case, Andrew Eng is uh, the active one. Uh, and if you roll over these, you can see when your ticket will expire. So if I move over to this one, now I've effectively done a K switch. And if I go back to the top, you can see that this new principle is here. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're really excited to be uh, offering Nomad with PK Knit to give you a little more flexibility with your uh, Active Directory and other Kerberos environments. Also keep in mind that in addition to Nomad PK Knit, we have a command line tool called Nomad PK Knit that allows you to do all of this from the command line. It will uh, leverage the accounts that you have here in uh, Nomad that you've set up through the GUI and allow you to uh, authenticate with those from the command line and get Kerberos tickets in addition to using any identity on the system to do that. Uh, so we think that uh, those two items make a, a very good combination for satisfying a lot of your users' needs. So again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we hope to talk to you in the future. Thank you.